Palestinian group Hamas, which dragged off about 150 hostages in its surprise weekend assault on southern Israel, threatened to kill them if Israeli airstrikes continue targeting Gaza residents without warning. The threat came after Israel imposed a total siege on the Gaza Strip, cutting off the water supply which sparked UN fears of an increasingly dire humanitarian situation. Tensions also escalated on Israel's northern front at the Lebanese border, where Hezbollah militants and Israeli forces exchanged fire for a second day. Israel has been left reeling from the Hamas Islamist group's unprecedented ground, air and sea attacks, likening them to 9-11. The death toll rose to 800 in Israel which launched a withering barrage of strikes on targets in Gaza, raising the death toll there to 687. Hamas, which sent about 1,000 fighters into Israeli towns, spraying gunfire at civilians, claimed that Israeli airstrikes had killed four of the hostages. In a televised speech, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu compared Hamas to the Islamic State group, also known as ISIS, and said Israel planned to carry out a massive assault against Hamas with unprecedented force. He also vowed to strengthen other fronts in the north against Hezbollah, as well as in the Israeli-occupied West Bank. Hamas launched more rockets as far as Tel Aviv and Jerusalem, where missile defense systems fired and air raid sirens blared.